the Palms Casino Resort in Las Vegas. It's Hooters 21st Annual International Swimsuit Pageant. We've spanned the globe to find the most beautiful, brightest, and fun Hooters girls on the planet. And tonight, they're going to show you why Hooters is known for more than just their craveable food. Eighty breathtaking beauties from around the world are about to compete for over $80,000 in total prize money. Please welcome your Hooters International Swimsuit Pageant contestants. Ladies and gentlemen, she's a former Miss Hooters International Swimsuit Pageant winner, now a television host who's appeared on Fox Network, E, FX, and more. And he's half of the Covino and Rich Show, heard daily on Sirius XM Radio's Faction Talk. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Michelle Noons and Rich Davis. Oh. Good evening, everyone. Wow. Welcome to Hooters 21st Annual International Swimsuit Pageant. I'm Michelle Nunes. And I'm Rich Davis, the only person on this stage that you don't want to see in a swimsuit tonight. Uh, I don't know, Rich. I mean, as a guy who officially joined the Hooters family by marrying a Miss Hooters International, I think sporting a sexy swimsuit is kind of part of the deal. Hmm. And I'm sure there's a lot of women in the audience who would love to see that. Am I right, ladies? All right, all right. First of all, I, I just heard a lot of dudes screaming, which is, which is weird. And while I appreciate that, the gorgeous women behind me make their appearance look effortless, but we know it takes a lot of preparation. It does. So why don't we let them head backstage so they can get ready for the rest of the show? Good idea. How about another round of applause for tonight's contestants? Looking great, huh? Good luck, ladies. We'll see you in a little bit. You guys have any favorites? I think they do. I think, I think they have favorites, yeah. Michelle. I think they do. I see some signs. I love it. I, I do love that. Represent your hometowns, huh? Nice, nice. 
What's I don't know. I just, I think before the night is over, we need to see you step it up and slip into some sexy swimsuit. Why are you trying to get me naked? <laughs> well, listen, I've been talked into crazier things. The question is, will you join me? Um, I, mean, I don't know. That's a lovely idea, but my swimsuit days are pretty much behind me. Yeah, I was afraid you'd say that, which is why I brought some photos. <laughs> All right, photos. Yes, Bring it. Photos, Michelle, from a time not so long ago, when Michelle Noons, this lovely woman right here, showed the world what it takes to be Miss Hooters International. Could uh, I get your attention to the big screen behind us? Oh, man. Oh, look at that. Oh, look at, oh, the crown on the finger move. Oh, <laughs> look at that. You look very, oh, that's like the nervous sexy. Okay. <laughs> what? Woo! Very nice, Rich. I don't know where you got those. Those are great times, great abs. Yeah, they are great abs. I agree. Now, listen, uh, it's actually been 10 years since I met my wife, Sarah Hoots, on my radio show, Kavino and Rich, and look who is standing next to me when I met my wife. Michelle Moons. Oh, look at that. 10 years ago. And by the way, I want everyone to look at the picture of Sarah in the second photo. You know what that stare is? That's the, oh, I want it stare. It's that, the game on <laughs> face. <laughs> you can see Oh, that. it was destiny for us to be here tonight. Destiny, pal. Seeing these pictures reminds me of how difficult it is to kind of separate yourselves from the pack as a contestant. Without a doubt. But tonight, a few select women will accomplish that task with special recognition and cash prizes given out to Miss Photogenic, oh. Miss Congeniality, Miss Fan Favorite, and from a yet-to-be-determined land beyond the United States, Miss World. World, 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 world. Uh, and one of these women will ultimately shine and take home $30,000 and the title of Miss Hooters International 2017. But I, yes. Yes, that's There that's we go, money. that's the time to applause. <laughs> but don't be too quick to judge a book by its cover, or in this case, a swimsuit. The women making it to tonight's final round will amaze you, but they stand out for their charitable work, their academic pursuits, even through their answers to challenging questions from the judges later. That's right. If you watched last year's competition, you recall it was the defining moment in the competition, the question round. My jaw was on the floor. Do you guys remember the girl that quoted Plato? If you were here? Oh my, it was amazing. I've never quoted Plato. I don't think, I don't think you've ever quoted Plato. Only when I'm referring to her. When you quote her quoting Plato. Exactly. I thought so. Speaking of the judges, why don't we meet them right now? First, once again, we have with us the original Hooters Girl, which is also the name of the book that she's currently working on. Ooh. I hope it has pictures. <laughs> For 15 years, she was the face of the franchise, and she still works with the company. Please welcome actress, model, and TV radio host, Lynn Austin. Hello, Lynn. Always good to see you. Great to see you. Great to see you. Great to be here. Looking hot. You were just, oh. you, you are an inspiration. Stop I'll it. Keep, I'll keep complimenting you all night. <laughs> all right, now you may recognize our next judge from her appearances on Project Runway and The Amazing Race, or may know her as Miss Florida USA 2014. Of course, you might just remember her as she helped judge this pageant just two years ago. Ladies and gentlemen, Brittany Olderhoff. <laughs> Thanks for hanging with us tonight, Brittany. Thank you for having me. He's a member of one of Stock Car Racing's most storied families. He's in his sophomore year in the NASCAR Cup Series in 2017, coming off the sport's most impressive rookie season in the past decade. Wow. He earned 10 wow. top five finishes en route to a playoff berth and the 2016 Rookie of the Year title. Now driving the number 24 Hooters Chevy, please give it up for Chase Elliott. There he is, the man. Thanks for being here, Chase. Yeah, thanks. thanks for having me. You excited for this? How could I not be? I was going to say, not Great. a bad gig, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Another returning judge, Michelle, with us today is the first and only female scout in the NBA. She worked with the Lakers, where she was awarded five championship rings. Wow. She's currently a Fox Sports reporter, a cast member of VH1's Basketball Wives, and she hosts several international NBA programs. She's also very active in the community, supports U.S. veterans through her charity, Hounds and Heroes. Our good pal, Bonnie Jill Laughlin. How are you? Yeah. Thanks for having me back. Always, always good to see you. Continuing with our theme of lovely ladies, next up is a former UFC and Strikeforce bantamweight champion. Ooh. 
Since retiring from fighting last year, she has served as both a UFC ambassador and a TV analyst for Fox Sports. Give it up for mixed martial arts pioneer, Misha Cupcake Tate. Yeah. <laughs> uh, she could kick all of your butts, guys. That's the fun. Including her. That's the fun. And you know what? If, uh, if the last judge uh, has one too many cocktails, I might want to see that happen because the last <laughs> judge is a guy I know pretty well. He's my other half, guys. Yeah. The other half of Sirius XM's Cavino and Rich Show, <laughs> one of the luckiest guys in the room tonight, my good pal, Steve Cavino. Hey! I already know who the big winner is. Who's that? Me. Yeah, I, <laughs> I got the best seat in the house. Without a doubt. And you look great. You look handsome. I'll do Both of you guys. Good, right? You complimented yeah. me before her. <laughs> I like that. I like that. You look great, too, Michelle. Thank you. Right. Thank you guys all for being here tonight. Excited. And good luck to you later as you make the very difficult decision of crowning a new Miss Hooters International. And now, I think we're just about ready. Actually, not yet. What do you mean? Before we start, <laughs> I want to give you a little gift. In front of everyone? Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Only Cavino laughed. <laughs> I know. I appeal to his dumb sense of humor. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so for those of you who might not know, about eight weeks ago, Rich and his beautiful wife, Sarah, a former Miss Hooters International herself, they became proud parents of an adorable little baby girl. Can we get a picture of Emmy? Oh, So sweet, right? Aww. So you don't need to be a scientist to figure out that she is the recipient of some downright dazzling DNA. So Rich, to celebrate this special occasion, we have some help here. She's coming. Look She's at this. coming. Yeah. What do you got for me? Just a couple little gifts for Emmy. All right. Yeah, open the box first. <laughs> it's a little baby crown. Aww. And then a little baby sash that says Miss Hooters 2040 when she's <laughs> 23. I love it. I love it. <laughs> Thank you so much. You're, you're very sweet. I knew that about you, though. I just hope uh, I just hope you and I are able to host a pageant in 2040. That would be pretty cool. That'd that would be, be it's a nice gig. That would we be like quite doing. a sight to see, definitely. And I feel a little bad because I, I didn't get you anything. Oh, that's okay. There's still time to put that swimsuit on before Act Two. So you really want this to happen? Listen, we've got a lot of other things the audience actually does want to see, like the first round of tonight's swimsuit competition. And that happens after this. Hooters International Swimsuit Pageant will be right back. Tonight on Hooters 21st Annual International Swimsuit Pageant, 80 of the world's most beautiful and hardest working Hooters girls compete for the Miss Hooters International title, as well as Miss Photogenic, Miss Congeniality, Miss Fan Favorite, and Miss World. And current Miss Hooters Sable Robert is here to bring us all the action from behind the scenes and help crown our 2017 winner. Stick around, you don't want to miss a minute of Hooters Annual International International Swimsuit Pageant. Welcome back to Hooters 21st Annual International Swimsuit Pageant. I'm Rich Davis alongside the always stunning Michelle Noons. Thank you, Rich. And I know everyone is eager to begin the competition, especially the women backstage. But before we get started, I think we would all like to see the future Miss Hooters International in her sash. Oh, yeah, sure. And maybe her crown. Where is she? Where's the cutie pie? Oh, there she is. <laughs> <laughs> so cute. We'll Aww. put the crown on later. That was so sweet. Thank you so much, Michelle. You're welcome. That was super sweet. Okay, one more thing, and then we're going to get round one underway. But first, we want to tell you about some amazing work that Hooters and, of course, the Hooters girls have been involved. That's right. Hooters is among the key players in a movement to establish a National First Responders Day, which would recognize people who make their living by putting the welfare of others first. This includes EMS teams who treat approximately 22 million people a year, 911 operators who, get this, answer an estimated 240 million calls every year, and local firefighters who respond to a fire every 23 seconds. Hooters have been, has been joined in this fight by some notable names, such as Baseball Hall of Famer Hank Aaron. A big time home run champ. Yep, Ambassador Andrew Young, and the NFL's John Gruden, just to name a few. Let's take a look. Hooters. 
Cares um, is really involved in the communities all around us. And one of the opportunities that was presented to us was to go to Washington, D.C. and petition to make First Responders Day a national holiday. I was super excited to meet Andrew Collier, and he's really been the heart and soul pushing this national First Responders Day to come to life because his brother was a police officer who unfortunately was lost in the Boston Marathon tragedy. And to hear his personal ties to it and to see how, you know, he took such a negative situation and is really trying to make a positive day of recognition for true American heroes. Even a brand such as Hooters, which many might just associate wings and, and cold beer, can make such a difference in the community and a nationwide impact. And I was able to be a part of that, and that's incredible. To know that they really care about our communities at large and the people that keep us safe um, is incredibly important. And to be a part of this moment, which is going to be a part of history, is incredibly special. So they allowed the girls to submit videos and tell a little bit of how we've had like a personal experience with a first responder or if we have family members that are first responders. My younger sister, who's only 14, has suffered through numerous gastric disorders, and my mom has an unruptured aneurysm. And there have been circumstances where if the first responders weren't called, I don't know where they would be in my life right now. My uncle's a volunteer firefighter, and my boyfriend Charlie is a firefighter as well, and to see what they go through, they put their lives on the line. So just knowing that these people are out there to protect me, it's really inspiring, and it means so much to me that we have the comfort of knowing that we have that safety behind us. The most exciting part of the whole thing was getting to see the inner workings of our government and just how much they do on a daily basis. I was fortunate enough to lobby with a congressman from my home state, and I was able to tell him how important first responders are to me and what this day would mean to myself and everyone around me. It makes you so appreciative to Hooters and all the opportunities they give you. They really do not only support the Hooters girl in the community so much, but they care, and that just speaks volumes to me. My God, montages get me every time, jeez. As you just saw, <laughs> Select Hooters Girls made a special trip to Washington, D.C. to help raise awareness of the need for National First Responders Day. Hooters restaurants around the world will once again offer a free meal to first responders. That's awesome, that's awesome. Hooters, thanks all of you for your support of this very worthwhile cause. How about a round of applause for first responders everywhere? They do great work, they do great work. Now, back to business at hand, Michelle. You being in a swimsuit? Oh yeah, that, that thing, yeah. Okay, well, I know I haven't convinced you yet, but I'm hoping that maybe you'll get some encouragement from the women that you all are about to meet. Well, I, if, if anyone's gonna encourage me, it's these beautiful women. Each of them is a genuine Hooters server, as you know, chosen from among 18,000 Hooters girls around the world, each representing their hometown Hooters in this pageant. Whether it's close, like here in Vegas, or as far away as Sydney, Australia, Shanghai, China, and because Hooters has more than 425 restaurants spanning the globe, we gotta divide these lovely ladies into two groups. So let's kick off the swimsuit competition with your first round of contestants. Ladies, the stage is yours. Chile, Albuquerque, New Mexico, I am Brenna Stever. Proudly representing Arlington, Texas, my name is Brianna Ramos. Representing the home of the world famous masters, I am Roxana Inslee. <laughs> From
From Charm City in Baltimore, Maryland, my name is Kristen Arnold. Proudly representing the Sportsman's Paradise in Baton Rouge, Louisiana, I am Mia Aulis. Living the tropical dream from Cape Coral, Florida, I am Mariah Material. From Chantilly, Virginia, I am Rachel Swartz. Representing Charlotte, North Carolina, I am Kristen Johnson. All the way from the Chesapeake Bay of Chesapeake, Virginia, I am Kazi Atha. From the heart of the Windy City, Chicago, Illinois, I am Tiffany Gabriel. <laughs> Proudly representing the original Hooters from Clearwater, Florida, I am Jody Pace. I am from Cuapa, Mexico. On behalf of Columbia, Missouri, my name is Bond, Emily Bond. Representing the Gulf Coast from Corpus Christi, Texas, I am Laura Castillo. Proudly representing my small town of Crestview, Florida, I am Alexis Watkins. From Hooters of Cumberland in Atlanta, Georgia, I am Brittany Zimmerman. Representing Dallas, Texas, I am Chloe Gregory. From the cornfields in Davenport, Iowa, my name is Rachel Sillick. Proudly representing Dayton, Ohio, I am Emily Price.
home of speed, Daytona Beach, Florida. I am Jora Stewart. My name is Lakin Baumgartner from Douglasville, Georgia. Representing Hooters of Farmingdale, my name is Katrina Aird. From sun kissed shores and enchanting sunsets, representing Fort Myers, Florida, I am Camry Campbell. Fort Worth, Texas, I am Elizabeth Dominguez. Proudly representing the world-renowned beach skyline from Fort Lauderdale, Florida, my name is Amberly Hall. Proudly representing Greenville, South Carolina, my name is Alyssa Whitney. Proudly representing Hooters of Greenwood, Indiana, I am Stephanie Cannon. My name is Chelsea Morganson. All the way across the Pacific Ocean from Honolulu, Hawaii, I am Brooke Souza. Representing Houston, Texas, I am Shayna Craven. Representing Huntsville, Alabama, I am Jacinda Booth. Representing Irving, Texas, my name's Miranda Frick. Proudly representing Jacksonville, North Carolina, I am Carly Bennett. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Carla De Ponte and I'm representing Johannesburg, South Africa. Proudly representing the Great Lakes from Kalamazoo, Michigan, I am Jessica Blake.
from Knoxville, Tennessee, I am Samantha Selecki. Let's hear it one more time for this amazing group of women. Ladies, you're all fantastic. Wow, huh? And the best news is the pressure is off, at least for now. We've still got a lot more beautiful women to meet before we begin naming our top 10 finalists. So I'm gonna let you guys head backstage to prepare for that while we introduce our backstage correspondent who is very familiar with what you ladies are feeling right now. Our backstage correspondent, Michelle, this evening, knows what it takes to reach the highest levels of this competition. Yes, she does. She competed in three Miss Hooters international pageants, placing in the top 10 twice before taking home the title last year. Third time's a charm for her. I'm saying, you're, you, ain't, you ain't kidding. Please welcome back your reigning Miss Hooters international from Fort Lauderdale, Florida, Sable Roberts. Thanks, Rich and Michelle. Yeah, I'm continuing to live a pretty sweet dream come true, but now as a backstage correspondent for this wonderful pageant. And while I'm admittedly a little bit sad to see my year come to a close as Miss Hooters, I can't help but be excited for all the girls in this year's pageant, knowing that tonight I'll be passing the crown to that one lucky girl the judges deem most deserving. Of course, our Miss Hooters International won't be the only one receiving some well-deserved recognition. We'll also be presenting special awards for Miss Congeniality, Miss Photogenic, and Miss Fan Favorite, as well as Miss World, who will be chosen from 11 international contestants. I'll be bringing you updates from behind the scenes throughout the night, so I'll see you guys again soon. Wow. Thanks, Sable. Hasn't she been an outstanding representative for Hooters? I love her. Agreed, she's great. Yeah. Of course, over the evening, we'll invite everyone to get to know a few of our contestants a little better. And we're gonna begin that right now with a closer look at Francesca Marte, who's representing her hometown Hooters of New York City. I was born and raised in the capital of the Dominican Republic in Santo Domingo. Going up in Diara was like a full-time vacation in a way, just because we have the beaches, we have the tropical weather all year round. My mother was born in New York, so with us living in the Dominican Republic, she always wanted to like influence the American culture in us. I mean, I went to a bilingual school, so I spoke English over there, but she also wanted to incorporate like the entertainment, you know, that she had growing up. So we would watch a lot of TV. And I would always be like, Mom, I wanna go to high school in America. My mom had a very good job in DR, but my dad had no job. And he knew that if he came to New York where his sister lived and her husband, he could get a job through them. I thought about it a lot of times, you know, I was like, I could stay here with all my friends that I grew up with and with my mom, who's like my best friend, or I could go with my dad and one of my brothers and I could pursue the American dream. So long story short, I moved to New York when I was 14, right after I graduated from eighth grade. So I was very excited to start high school because you know I was seen in the movies and I was just eager to start and make new friends. But when I started going to high school, I realized that like, you know, people noticed that I had an accent and they wouldn't necessarily make fun of me, but it would make me be shy. So I kind of got lost because I've always been outgoing and it made me be shy because of my English. I had friends, but you couldn't compare them to the friendships that I had in the Dominican Republic. At first, you know, I said, well, I can take some dance lessons, but then I was like, well, I also need like a summer job, you know, because my dad was working all the time. I thought about, you know, why not try to be a waitress? I didn't know much about Hooters. I was just looking for a job where I could keep my mind busy and something that could make the person that I was in DR come back. Through Hooters, like they've made my dreams come true. Like I'm going to school for broadcast journalism and I have a year left. So I don't even have my degree, but I've been on TV because of Hooters three times already, promoting the calendar and promoting the brand. If it wasn't for Hooters, I wouldn't be the person that I am today. They brought back 
that outgoing person that I was in DR. I'll do it for as long as I can because it, it gave me something that for one second I thought I would never have back. Again, these, these, these montages. Are, they're killing me tonight. <laughs> All right, well, this is just one way Hooters has changed a life. Francesca, we are so glad you're here with us today. Now, to paraphrase Billy Joel. Uh, no. Uptown girl. You, no, no, hold on. Tell her about, no. Um, I, I got it, all right, okay. I know it's not me that you've been coming to see to Good forget about life yes. for a while. Meaning, uh, let's step aside and let's bring out the rest of these young ladies competing in tonight's swimsuit rounds. Ladies. Take it away. My name is Gavin Leger, and I'm proudly representing my hometown of Lakeland, Florida. Representing Lexington, Kentucky, my name is Courtney Blakely. Proudly representing the home of a thousand mountaintops from Lone Tree, Colorado, I am Tiffany Binkley. representing Louisville, Kentucky. My name is Sydney Pickman. Coming to you from Memphis, Tennessee, I am Erica Kwan. Representing my beautiful country, Mexico, I am Carolina Lucero. Representing Miami, Florida, bienvenido a Miami, I am Allison Calderon. Representing 150 years from Toronto, Canada, I am Sarah Krakauer. If 
from the sandy shores of Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, I am Amber Paps. From the Country Music Hall of Fame, Nashville, Tennessee, I am Destiny Willis. from the Garden State and proudly representing New Brunswick, New Jersey, I am Morgan MacArthur. From the bright lights of New York City, my name is Francesca Marte. Proudly representing North Richland Hills from the Lone Star State of Texas, I am Lacey Dickey. From across the pond, proudly representing Nottingham in the UK, I am Olivia Wright. From the home of the Oklahoma City Thunder, I am Jade Nowlin. Hailing from Pasadena, Texas, I am Clancy Pennington. Representing Raleigh, North Carolina, I am Katie James. my hometown of Riverside, California. My name is Amanda Larray Olson. Representing the San Francisco Bay Area, California, I am Carolina DiLorenzo. My name is Celine Cesala 
Salazar, I am from Costa Rica. ¡Pura vida! Satélite en México, I am Paola Rodríguez. All the way from the East Coast, representing Savannah, Georgia, I am Melissa Harris. From China, Shanghai, I am Aki Lee. From my exotic paradise, representing South Fort Myers, I am Haley Slobosian. Representing St. Louis, Missouri, I am Amanda Steinbecker. All the way from the land down under, Sydney, Australia, my name is Jamie Lee France. Representing the lovely green Northwest from Tacoma, Washington, I am Alicia Clevenger. Konnichiwa, my name is Hika Nakazawa. I'm from Tokyo, Japan. Trustville, Alabama. My name is Casey Sanford. Proudly representing my hometown of Tucson, Arizona, I am Jennifer Koenig. <laughs> Representing Tulsa, Oklahoma, I am Cami Hall. Proudly representing Wayne, New Jersey, I am Sydney Frederick. Representing the true north, Winnipeg, Canada, my name is Sabrina Sardina. From the Tar Hill State, proudly representing Winston-Salem, North Carolina, I am Rachel Ford.
So, what do you guys think? Wow, now that huh? you've met all of our lovely contestants, do you know who's going to win? Well, it's just about time to see who our judges are going to choose for the top 10 finalists. Stay right where you are. Hooters International Swimsuit Pageant is coming right back. All right, welcome back to Hooters International Swimsuit Pageant. I'm Rich Davis, along with a former Miss Hooters International, the effervescent Michelle Nunes. What a great word. Thanks, Rich. I'm trying. I'm trying. So, guys, you know this. Our judges have chosen our top ten finalists, and we're going to reveal them to you pretty soon. Ooh. I know. We want to <sighs> build the suspense a little bit. In order to make these decisions, the judges had to go on more, these, more than these brief introductions that you've seen in the show. Throughout the week, all of the women in this pageant has, have also participated in photo shoots, interviews, and other exciting activities throughout Las Vegas. Speaking of those, last night was the Hooters hometown pageant preview in which all of our contestants created costumes to represent their hometown Hooters. The results of that pre-pageant are also factored into our judges' scores tonight. That is my favorite no, it's, night. It's my favorite. No it's, no, it's my favorite. It's our favorite. Okay, okay, okay that's good. <laughs> Okay, so before we announce this year's top finalists, top 10 finalists, we need to take a look at some of the exciting things that happened this past week. So let's check it out. Hey there, I'm Sable Robert. I'm about to take you all behind the scenes of the 2017 Miss Hooters International Swimsuit Pageant. Hey everyone, we're behind the scenes here at the Hooters Uniform Shoots. I'm hanging out with Hannah, representing Las Vegas, Nevada. Hannah, tell me, what is your dream marketing ad that you hope to show up on this year for Hooters? It would absolutely have to be UFC. It is by far the official sport of Las Vegas, and I absolutely love watching my whole store fill up whenever we show the fights on our big screen TVs. You can catch Hannah at the Las Vegas Hooters for those UFC fights. Good luck, Hannah. We're here behind the scenes at the Hooters pageant interviews. I'm here with Brianna, and I just want to know, are you feeling a little more nervous or excited? I'm feeling extremely excited about this whole opportunity. And is there anything you hope they don't ask you? I'm honestly prepared for anything they want to ask me. Good answer. Hey, we're here at the Pearl, where the contestants are at one of their final rehearsals. Follow me, and I'm going to give you an exclusive sneak peek. We're here at the contestants' favorite spot, the hair and makeup studio. Let's check out how these girls are getting ready for all their photo shoots and on-stage fun. So tell us what you have going on today that you're getting all beautified for. Hi, Sable. Today we're getting ready to do shoots in our uniforms. How fun. And tell everybody what is it like to be just spoiled and pampered by this wonderful team. It is so great to feel like a princess. The crew is so sweet. They take care of all your needs. They are just awesome. And she looks great. All right, you guys wanted behind the scene access? We're in a garage. This is about as behind the scenes as it gets. The ladies are about to go out to the welcome party and watch the chicken wing eating contest. Who do you want to win? Oh, Joey Chestnut for sure. We're here at the pageant preview where the girls are so excited to show off their costumes. I'm hanging out with Allison from Miami, Florida. Tell us about your costume. I'm representing Wynwood, the art district of Miami, and all of its awesome graffiti. I hope you all enjoyed all the behind the scenes action. Now you know it takes a lot more than just walking on stage in heels and a swimsuit to win this pageant. Wow, that was a lot of fun, huh? Last night? Wow. And once again, our competitors took the creativity of their costumes to a whole new level. Oh, I totally agree. I actually think, if you guys remember this, that it all started with Jellyfish Girl two years ago. Do I you guys do, remember, I do remember that, that contestant? 
I do remember I that. Do. You know, and there's a girl that had a pitchfork this year. How do you get that past TSA pre-check? How does that happen? She must have checked her bag. It was a girl with a space needle on her head. Listen, <laughs> they took it to a new level this year. Absolutely. A lot of work went into the costumes, especially to let the girls show off their personalities. A plus all around. I'm with you. Now remember, in addition to last night's pageant preview, the judges have based their decisions on a combination of factors like personality, confidence, communication skills, physical fitness, knowledge of the Hooters brand, and a bunch more. So let's talk with a couple of our judges to find out what's impressed them so far. Starting with the OG girl herself, Lynn. Lynn, tell us what you've been seeing, what you've been looking for. My dude, we are at a whole new level here. These girls are not only intelligent and charming and kind, look at them. I'm so glad they weren't around 33 years ago. <laughs> Uh, you know what? I got, I got to go to my, my boy, Steve Covino. This yeah. is your first time judging. It's hard work, bro. <laughs> hard work. <laughs> a I'm Hooters. breaking a sweat up here, man. I know, you're sweating more than the, the yeah. beautiful women. What are you looking for? I know you and I do a radio show every day. I know you like a brother, but what are you, what are you, what are you specifically seeing tonight? Yeah, I love the smiles. I, I love that they're having fun. I want to see that they're having a good time, having fun, and that they're going to represent the brand and, you know, I love the confidence and the poise, you know. I, I just can't imagine being up there doing that. So I give you all a lot of credit. I give you all a round of applause. So Very you're good. all doing a I'm great job. Let's give them all a round of applause one more time. Oh. Well, with that in mind, let's find out, everybody, who has made it to this year's list of top ten finalists. Whew. Remember, each of these top 10 finalists will receive a cash prize of at least $2,000. Now, I say at least because one of these beautiful women is going to walk away with $30,000. And they're going to be crowned our new Miss Hooters International. So, Michelle, if you're ready, I'm going to let you take the lead here. Thanks, Rich. By the way, one more thing. Oh. Everyone should know that you and I are seeing these results for the very first time ourselves. Indeed. And we're announcing them in no particular order. Oh, boy. The first of your 2017 top 10 finalists is... From Dayton Beach, Florida, Jora Stewart! Our next finalist from South Fort Myers, Haley Slabosian. And this year's third finalist from St. Louis, Missouri, Amanda Steinberger. Three down, seven to go, everybody. But it will be six when I read this next name, which is from Douglasville, Georgia, Lakin Baumgartner. And to get us to the halfway point, from Riverside, California, Amanda Olson. All right, guys, we're halfway there, and the energy is really intense. You can cut the tension with a knife. I can't imagine what it's going to be like when we have to announce a winner later on in the show. But for now, let's continue with our sixth finalist, who is... From Tokyo, Japan, Hika Nakazawa. Man, all of these girls are deserving. It's kind of a shame they can't all advance. I know. However, the competition will continue for. From Chantilly, Virginia, Rachel Swartz. Only Three spots remain, and the first of those three, Michelle, goes to 
from Tucson, Arizona, Jennifer Koenig. Remember, the order in which we're announcing our finalists is not related to the scores that got them here. Any one of them could be your next Miss Hooters International. Ooh. For instance, from Hollywood, California, Chelsea Morganson. And the last of your top 10 finalists, who's guaranteed to walk away with $2,000 and potentially as much as $30,000. From Fort Lauderdale, Florida, Amber Lee Hall. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for your top 10 Hooters International Swimsuit Pageant finalists. My name is Amberly Hall, and I'm here proudly representing Fort Lauderdale, Florida. I actually started off as a regular at Hooters. My family were regulars growing up. I have the best memories of just being younger and being in the stores and getting the calendars and watching the pageant. When it came time that I really needed to get in and find a job that I was serious about and really loved, I decided to go apply at Hooters. Hi, my name is Rachel Swartz, and I'm from Chantilly, Virginia. The day I became a Hooters girl and found out about the pageant, I wanted to be a part of it. I have thought about being Miss Hooters every day since I've been a Hooters girl. Hi, my name is Chelsea Morganson, and I'm from Hollywood, California. It's funny, because before I even worked my first actual shift, I competed in their, the local bikini contest. Um, I placed third, I had my First shift the next day, all the regulars already knew who I was, which was really funny, uh, but I felt right at home right away, and it's the best job that I've ever had. Hi, my name is Hika Nakazawa. I'm from Tokyo, Japan. Cheerleader I am Amanda Larry Olson and I am from Riverside, California. I loved the iconic orange shorts, absolutely loved it, and it was something I've always wanted to do, and I knew at 18 I could be a Hooters girl. So I went in and I applied and they hired me on the spot and I was so excited and it has been absolutely the best three years of my life thus far. I'm Jora Stewart from Daytona Beach, Florida. Hooters has been just a blessing to me and my family and it's my home, it's my safe place. I have so much fun with my employees. I've made so many great best friends and customers for the rest of my life. Hi, my name is Jennifer Koenig and I'm from Tucson, Arizona. I played softball at uh, Pima Community College. A bunch of us actually went in there for dinner one night and it was the first time I had ever been to Hooters. They all said, oh, you should apply, you should apply. So I did and the next day I got hired. So. Um, that was almost seven years ago now. I'm Haley Slobosian and I'm from Fort Myers, Florida. My mother was a Hooters girl 20 years prior to me um, being a Hooters girl. And I would just walk around in her uniform for Halloween or just for dress up around the house. One day we went in and the Hooters girl approached me with an application and I filled it out and sure enough I got the job. My name is Lakin Baumgartner and I'm representing Douglasville, Georgia. As soon as I turned 18, I knew that this was the company, the restaurant, the first job that I wanted. Six months in, I became a corporate trainer. I moved up the ranks very quickly. This is a company that I can see myself working for for years. I'm Amanda Steinbecker and I'm from St. Louis, Missouri. Today is actually my five year anniversary with the company and it feels like such a family still and I love it so much. I found out eight days before we were supposed to leave that I would be competing at this pageant. My first reaction was, there's no way I'm gonna be able to pull this off, but I have Hooters behind me. It's really intimidating because this is a stressful competition. I think that when you're preparing yourself for 
a pageant like this, you have to stay true to yourself 100%. It would mean the world to be Miss Hooters International and just to help out with charities, children, families. I would be in such a great position to be an example and to foster positivity with my friends and instill confidence in the next generation of Hooters girls. It would give me a platform to talk to younger girls, tell them to believe in themselves and to love themselves. Every single one of them is beautiful and they need to love themselves inside and out. To be part of like Lynn Austin, Sable, Janet, and all of them, it would be such an honor. I would be speechless, I don't even know. <laughs>
And Miss Congeniality walks away with $5,000. So, if I may. I, you may. Thank you. This year's recipient of Miss Congeniality is... From Shanghai, China, Aki Lee. <laughs> Here. Congratulations, Aki. Congratulations. You've won the hearts and the respect of all these beautiful women in the pageant. Now, is there someone in your life you think of as a role model or that's inspired you on how to treat other people? My mom. She teaches me, uh, she don't go to school, but she say you have to know the first is respect to people and be polite. Wow, that's beautiful. <laughs> like, wow. Congratulations. Thank you, thank you, thank you all. And now it's time for the only remaining award of the evening that is not decided by our judges. Instead, it was decided by all of you, our audience. Wow, you guys are the boss. You're doing this one. All right, this is for the title of Miss Fan Favorite. Now, over the past several weeks, fans of the show have been able to use social media to vote for their favorite contestant. And this year's recipient will also take home a cash prize of $2,000. The title of Miss Fan Favorite 2017 goes to... From South Fort Myers, Florida, Haley Slobodian. Perfect, guys. Now, congratulations once again to Miss Congeniality, Aki Lee, Miss Phonogenic, Dominique Sum, and you just saw her, Miss Fan Favorite, Haley Slobogian. Now, each of these women are very deserving recipients of this year's special awards. And with those three titles bestowed, it's time to put our judges back to work as we inch ever closer to the most coveted title of the evening. We've got a lot more ahead on the Hooters International Swimsuit Pageant. My dad is a wounded warrior. He served a year in Iraq and he came back to Fort Hood, Texas, because he was blown up by a grenade that was hidden in a trash barrel. So it messed up his stomach pretty bad, but he, he's still okay. Um, he, he went back to Fort Hood and stayed there for four years to recover, and now he's back, and I was living with him for the last four years, taking care of him, and just buying him groceries, making sure he's okay, helping him out with his PTSD. So it's just been, it's been a great journey to get him back to where he was. The day-to-day -day life taking care of my dad was stressful, but it was worth it. I would wake up at seven o'clock in the morning to go to high school. Then after high school, I would go to my first job, work that all day, and then go to my second job. I would come home, take care of my dad, make him dinner, sit down, relax with him, and just made sure he felt comfortable. It was a lot of weight on my shoulders still being in high school, but it was, it made me stronger as a person, taking care of him and just being there for him, knowing that someone else needed me. I just, it wasn't just all about me. It was, I had to be there for my dad now. And it was time to step up, so I did. It really showed him who I was as a person and how much I cared about him. He doesn't really have anyone in his life but me. I'm the only one, so it's just me and him, and I just wanna be there for him and always. With our calendar, we offer a calendar drop, which the customers have the chance to donate a calendar over to the troops. And every year, I donate one myself in honor of my dad. Involved with the Korean War Museum, I go there every month. I serve chicken wings to all the Korean War veterans. We sit down and talk with them and hear all their great stories they have to tell. It just brings a smile to their face, being able to see us 
and letting them know that we're there for them if they need to talk to us or if, you know, if they want to come to Hooters and see us and just become friends and hear their stories. It's not just about serving chicken wings to the Korean War veterans, it's about touching their lives and making a difference. Me and my dad, were, our relationship is really close. We're best friends. We did everything together growing up. We would explore, go hiking, go to the movies, just do everything together. I want him to know that he's my hero and I look up to him and how much he's done and all he's been through in his life and that he could still have such a positive attitude and outlook on life. He just is my hero. Welcome back, everybody, to the Hooters International Swimsuit Pageant. You just met one of our very special Hooters girls, Mariah Material. And you know what? Mariah's father, John, is actually here in our audience this evening. John, can you please stand up? How about a round of applause for him and all the service men and women who fight? to protect our great nation. Thank you so much, John. We've already named our top 10 finalists. In addition to narrowing down that list to five before crowning a winner, we've also got to hand out one more award. Oh, yeah. Do you know what it is? It is Miss World. Yes, sir. Now, among the 80 women competing in this year's pageant, there are 11 who truly allow this to live up to the title of an international competition. They come from as close by as our neighbors in Canada or Mexico, and also far away, like South Africa, Sydney, Shanghai. So we want to dedicate part of our show tonight to these special women, ultimately crowning one of them with the title of Miss World, along with a check for 5,000 big ones. Nice. And to talk about what it means to take home that title, our current Miss Hooters International, Sable Roberts, is now joined backstage by our reigning Miss World from Winnipeg, Canada, Megan Pugh. Thanks, Ms. Michelle and Rich. I'm actually backstage right now with Miss Hooters World 2016, Megan Pugh of Winnipeg, Canada. Tell us, Megan, what has it meant to bring the title of Miss Hooters World back to your hometown of Winnipeg? Being able to bring home the Miss World title to Winnipeg meant I could show my frosty little slice of heaven how active Hooters is in, in their community. It also gave me an opportunity to show that young women back home that with hard work and dedication, you can achieve anything. Thanks, Megan, and of course, congratulations again on being an outstanding international ambassador for Hooters. And now, let's get to know the 11 young women hoping to take home this year's title of Miss Hooters World. Hi, I'm Sarah Krakauer, and I'm from Toronto, Canada. My name is Ihika Nakazawa. I'm from Tokyo, Japan. Hey, my name is Carla DePonti, and I'm from Johannesburg, South Africa. Hi, my name is Leslie Valeria, and I am from Mexico City, Mexico. G'day, my name is Jamie Lee France from Sydney, Australia. Hey, my name is Aki Lee. I come from uh, Shanghai, China. My name is Paola Rodriguez, and I'm from Mexico City. My name is Lindsay Salazar. I'm from Salazar, Costa Rica. Hi, I'm Olivia Wright, Nottingham, England. My name is Carolina Lucero, and I'm coming from Mexico City, Mexico. Hi, my name is Brina Sardina. I'm from Winnipeg, Canada. So far, I'm having so much fun. I'm just so happy that I got chosen to come here and represent my country, hometown, and I'm just having a blast meeting new people. I think it's a lot of work going into this. I mean, who does this such an understated brand? And just this shows how much work is put into it to make the girls feel beautiful, to make this whole pageant just so exclusive, you know, just to get it out there, it's, it's absolutely beautiful. To represent Hooters, it means the absolute world to me. I've never experienced anything like this before, and so I'm just excited to be here and happy to be involved. What it would mean to me to win Miss World, um, it would be a great honor. For me to win Miss World, it would be a great honor to win a peg as well. Uh, Megan actually won last year, so I feel like if I brought it home again, you know, it'd make Winnipeg really proud. I'm super excited to be handing off the crown for Miss World this year. I'm a little bit sad as well. It's been such an incredible experience, and I know that the next girl is going to have 
such a great time, and she's gonna make so many memories and friendships over the year. It's it's honestly been probably one of the best experiences of my life, and I'm so grateful to be able to have it with Hooters. That video was fun, but Michelle, let's be honest, there's nothing like the real thing. Please welcome your 2017 Hooters Miss World contestants. From Mexico City, Mexico, Leslie Valeria. From Johannesburg, South Africa, Carla DePonte. From Mexico City, Carolina Lucero. From Toronto, Canada, Sarah Krakauer. From Nottingham, England, Olivia Wright. From San Jose, Costa Rica, Lindsay Salazar. From Satellite, Mexico, Paula Rodriguez. From Shanghai, China, Aki Lee. From Sydney, Australia, Jamie Lee, France. From Tokyo, Japan, Hika Nakazawa. And from the hometown of our current Miss World, Winnipeg, Canada, Sabrina Sardina. Now, congratulations to all of our Miss World contestants. Now, before we announce the judge's decision, please welcome Hooters Miss World 2016 to the stage from Winnipeg, Megan Pugh. Megan, welcome. Now, before we crown your successor, I invite you to make the most of your final walk as the reigning Hooters Miss World. Are you ready? Do I have to answer truthfully? <laughs> it's been such an honor to represent Winnipeg for the last year as Miss Hooters World, but honestly, I'm so excited for whoever's name is in this envelope. She's gonna have an incredible year. I bet she is. Now the winner of Miss World 2017. I actually have the envelope, hold on. Let me make sure it's the right thing. I don't want any Warren Beatty Academy Award thing going on. It's the right one. Do you wanna, you wanna announce the winner? are too long. <laughs> and the winner of Miss World 2017 is Hika Nakazawa from Tokyo, Japan. Congratulations, Hika Nakazawa! Wow, now that you got your crown and sash, please take your first official walk as Hooters Miss World 2017. to take this moment in and maybe even some time for Rich to slip into that swimsuit that we talked about earlier. I mean, you're really trying for this, aren't you, Michelle? I'm, I'm Listen, going full blow, yeah. We can all see there's better reasons to stick around, so I, I would stay right there, 
We're crowning Miss Hooters International 2017 coming up very shortly. The Hooters International Swimsuit Pageant will be right back. Welcome back to the Hooters annual swimsuit pageant. I'm Michelle Noons along with Rich Davis. Now, I don't want to make these women wait any longer to find out who's going to be advancing to the final five. Plus, I've always wanted to say this. May we have the envelope, please? Maybe not. There she is. All right. Once again, Rich and I do not know the names in these envelopes, so we're going to be finding out who the final five are at the same time as you. And just like the top ten, there is no particular order in how we announce them, all right? <gasps> do you want to start? you want me to start? I'm gonna st I want to start. Okay, yeah. go ahead. Okay. The first of our top five finalists. From Riverside, California, Amanda Olson. Our second top five finalist. From Chantilly, Virginia, Rachel Schwartz. Three places remain and one of them will go to, from Fort Lauderdale, Florida, Amberly Hall. If you're doing the math, we only got two spots left, and one of those spots goes to the girl from Hollywood, California, Chelsea Morganson. And we are down to the very last position in our final five. For one young lady, this ride will continue as she competes for that $30,000 prize and title of Miss Hooters International, while for the other five, the journey stops here. I mean, but that doesn't mean it's over. Don't forget the current Miss Hooters International, Sable Robert, competed in three pageants before winning the crown. Exactly. So there is a very good chance we could see any of these beautiful ladies back here again on this stage next year. Okay, I think we've made them wait long enough. Okay, okay, I think so. The last of this year's top five finalists is... From Daytona Beach, Florida, Jorah Stewart. Wow. How do you like our top five? Give them a round of applause. There it is. A huge congratulations to these five lovely ladies who are on the stage tonight. Now, each of you truly represent the best of Hooters. Let's hear from them one more time, everybody. Your top five. Thank you, ladies. Of course, if you've ever been to a Hooters restaurant, and I hope you all have. I, I think they've been to a Hooters I think before. it's safe yeah, to say okay. they have. You know that every one of our servers is much more than a pretty face. Besides their natural charm and grace, these women have to constantly multitask, thinking quickly on their feet, all while, all while maintaining a fun and cheery disposition. You said it, pal. Fortunately, these are the, the skills that serve our five finalists well as they approach the last leg of this journey, the judge interviews. Now listen, as a guy who's married to a former Miss Hooters International, I can vouch for the ability of these women to think quickly on their feet. I have never been in an argument 
with my lovely wife that I haven't lost. So I, I get it. Be as it may, Rich, each of our judges has drawn a contestant's name to decide the questions and the order of this round. Ooh. Lynn, as <laughs> seems to be a growing tradition with this pageant, I'll ask you to get us started. All right, Amanda. Don't be nervous, I'm nervous, okay. If you were given the opportunity to make a one minute video that would reach every single American, what message would you give? If I had the opportunity to make a video, I would absolutely do it um, against animal cruelty. I am a huge animal activist. <laughs> I am literally the person you see with the picket sign at, at animal rights movements, and I just would, if that'd be the most amazing opportunity, just to tell everybody, you know, to be against it, and I stand 100% by an ASPCA, and it would just be absolutely an honor. <laughs> okay, thank you. Thank good you. Good answer, good answer. Now, let's go to Brittany. You got a question for one of these beautiful young ladies. My question is actually for Amberly from Fort Lauderdale, Florida. What is the biggest change you would like to see in young women in the next generation? The biggest change that I would love to see for women in the next generation is loving yourself more. I think that we need to build more confidence with our girls from a young age growing up, letting them know that who they truly are is who they're meant to be and to own that every second of the day. I think that's what makes a great Hooters girl and I think that's what makes a great Miss Hooters International. Wow. Wow. Woo. All right, uh, Misha, you're up. Who you, uh, who you got a question for? Chelsea. So my question is, what is your opinion on social media, and do you think it helps or hurts our society? I love social media. I'm an actress and a model, so I kind of need it for my career. It helps me get out there, it helps people find me, helps me get work. And I think with Hooters, it helps us get the company out there and the, every girl on this stage promotes themselves, they promote positivity, they promote just being your beautiful self. And I think that those positive messages out there make social media really great. There you go. Chelsea, thank, thank you. you. Chase, you got a question. We want to hear it. Who you got? Jora, my question. Are you ready? Are you sure you're ready? All right, here we go. Don't be nervous. No pressure. If you could meet any person from history, who would it be? And why is that your answer? From history? Um, I would be, I'd probably be um, Tyra Banks. I know she's not you know, gone, but she definitely shows that she can be a boss and a beautiful model and a role model to um, campaigns that are talking about inner beauty and confidence. Awesome, thank you. you go. Tyra Banks. <laughs> so, Kavino. What's up, Rich? What's up, buddy? You You're got looking a... handsome, by the way. I, I love that you said that. <laughs> Who do you got a question for, pal? My question is for Rachel. Uh, many women look up to Miss Hooters International as a role model. What are the qualities you possess that make you the best choice for Miss Hooters International? Some of the qualities that I possess that would make me an excellent Miss Hooters International are that I am confident, articulate, and kind. Oh. All right. Very nice. Thank you, ladies, for your thoughtful answers. And thank you, judges, for those amazing questions. Now, there's not much time left for these judges to decide who will be named Miss Hooters International 2017. You guys have a favor, right? <laughs> Who's it gonna be? You're right, you, Rich, we really don't have that much time. In fact, we barely have time for you to slip into that swimsuit. I could, you know, I'm starting to think about it. You may have convinced me. Yes, did you guys hear that? As if we needed another reason for you to stay with us. When we get back, we'll talk one last time with the reigning Miss Hooters International Sable Robert, and of course, 
we'll crown a new Miss Hooters International. And maybe, just maybe, Rich is going to put on some beach wear. Sweet. Uh, Hooters International Swimsuit Pageant is coming right back. Stay there. I always really wanted to be involved and to give back to children. I'm a nurse, so I've always wanted to give back in some type of way, but I never felt like I was in a place where I could do it confidently. And now I feel like I'm in a place in my life where I can actually have something to give back to other people, to instill in other people. Yeah, I just started brainstorming and trying to come up with a program that I needed when I was younger. I grew up in a poverty-stricken area in Kentucky, and I really wanted to reach those kids because I feel like I benefited so much from the programs that were aimed towards me. So I wanted to do something for my younger self. So I created Spark Your Magic. It is a youth outreach program for at-risk youth in underserved communities. Back home in Kentucky, I hosted my very first program earlier this year, and it was around Easter time. So actually me and a coworker, another Hooters girl, we provided Easter baskets for 45 children at a homeless shelter back home in Kentucky. And as soon as we walked in, like 45 kids stormed us and they all started grabbing baskets. It was the most amazing feeling that I've ever felt in my life. I think that working at Hooters has made me more comfortable with my voice and speaking to others and being confident and even coming to the pageant in years past has given me a huge platform so it's helped me reach out to other organizations and my coworkers have rallied around me like a family. As soon as I decided to start the program, almost every single girl that I work with was like, how do I get involved? To me, Hooters is a lot more than just beers and wings. Girls gain confidence, they gain knowledge, they gain a family. And that has helped me so much in just um, breaking the limits for myself because when I first decided to create Spark Your Magic, I immediately limited myself and I just thought like, wait, I can't do this. Um, but I've gained so much confidence through working with this company and I think that I really couldn't have done it without it. Courtney, I think I can speak on behalf of everyone here. We are so proud of your charity work with at-risk youth. Thank you. Welcome back to the Hooters International Swimsuit Pageant. I'm Michelle Noons. I'm usually with Rich Davis, but um, I'm not really sure where he is right now, so we're gonna have to- Michelle. Take yeah, Rich, where are you? I thought it might be a little tense out there, so I took your advice and I put on a very sexy swimsuit. Oh my God, it's fantastic. Okay. Can you give me an introduction, please? <laughs> Absolutely. Are you guys ready to see this? How about a drum roll, please? Please welcome back my co-host, fresh off the beach, Rich Davis! No, nothing? Hey guys, where's Rich? Too much? I, it's, where are the rhinestones, first of all? I knew I forgot something. <laughs> but I, I've always wanted to do this. Do you mind? Go ahead. From Sherman Oaks, California, I am Rich Davis. <laughs> Good? Good? You want to take a walk, too? Wait, then I got to do... <laughs> oh, my goodness. I, I, mean, I got to get it. I got it. Okay, you know what? I think, I think yeah, you got to go change. Okay. <laughs> I'll take care of things until you get back. Goodbye. <laughs> How about another round of applause for Rich Davis being such a good sport? <laughs> Cute little, where did he get that? While he changes, I want to invite the reigning Miss Hooters International onto our stage to share her thoughts about her year wearing the crown. Please welcome back Sable Robert. <laughs> You look beautiful. Thank you, good to see you, Michelle. Nice to see you too. You won three, excuse me, 
You competed in three Miss Hooters international pageants before finally winning the title. That is pure determination. What's your past year meant to you? Um, I don't think we have enough time to really talk about what this year has meant to me, but I do want to take a moment to just say thank you so much, Hooters, because you really have inspired me. You continue to inspire so many people every day, and I'm still in shock that you gave me this once-in-a-lifetime opportunity, and I'll always bleed orange. Do you have any advice for the lucky lady who's going to take over the title tonight? Um, I do. Whoever is lucky enough to be Miss Hooters International, a year might seem like a long time, but it really does fly by. So cherish every single day and get good luggage. You'll be traveling a lot. <laughs> Congratulations again. Now let's take a look back at her year as Miss Hooters International. From Fort Lauderdale, Florida, Sarah Jane. Winning Miss Hooters International has meant so much to me because obviously this company has been incredibly good to me over the last six years, but they do so much for every single Hooters girl. They do so much for their guests. They do so much for the community. So for me to have the opportunity to be a role model to the iconic Hooters girls, I was excited and I was really ready for it. And it's really just made me an even more confident Hooters girl. So I'm so appreciative and still pinching myself a little bit. Winning Miss Suters International opened up so many opportunities. As soon as I got back to Fort Lauderdale, I was doing so many TV and radio interviews. I was going to a lot of um, promotions with Hooters and just been staying really busy, but I thought it was really important to maintain my schedule at the store as much as possible because really, I wouldn't have been here if it wasn't for my loyal guests at Hooters and the girls who have helped support me and get me to this point. I was really excited to work with NASCAR. Not only has Chase Elliott turned me into a huge NASCAR fan, but the races are so much fun. I totally get it and now I'm obsessed. And being in the pit crew with everybody and that energy and seeing the spirit of all the fans, it was crazy. And they welcomed all the Hooters girls with open arms. So we just had so much fun and it was an awesome experience to be able to cheer on Chase. The girls and I who placed top 10 at last year's pageant were lucky enough to do a commercial shoot with Chase, and that was a lot of fun hanging out with him. He's super laid back and down to earth, and I think he enjoyed himself hanging out with all the beautiful Hooters girls. One of my biggest goals as Miss Hooters International this year was to definitely stay involved in the community and try to give back as much as possible. As soon as I got back from Vegas, I went straight to Iowa to work with Self Help International, came back to Florida to work with the WOW Center and the Seek Foundation, and. Really, those things are so special to me because it is what makes Hooters better than any other restaurant. And it does kind of get people a little more intrigued or if they haven't ever been before, it gets them to want to come in and see what else we have going on. Being chosen for the cover of the calendar was such a dream come true. I'm a little five foot two thing. So to think of myself as a cover girl model, I would have never thought such a thing. And for me, I thought about what I might do if I were to ever win Miss Hooters International with my year. but. I never really thought about that moment. And when that moment came, I was overwhelmed with emotions. I was so in awe, so grateful, and so kind of shocked and just in the moment. And all I remember is just trying to not cry and tears just stayed running down my face. It was the best moment. And um, I actually got a job with Hooters right after my dad passed away so that I could be more independent. And there's a great shot that they got of me looking up, holding my crown. and. I was actually looking up, thanking my dad for being there with me in that moment. I'm super grateful to Hooters because they've really instilled that if you work hard, you can achieve anything and no dream is impossible. And definitely winning Miss Hooters International was a prime example of that. You know, just stay positive, work hard, and things will go good in your life. Wow, Sable. As Miss Hooters International, you have been an inspiration to many young women and an outstanding ambassador for the Hooters brand. I invite you now to take your final walk as Miss Hooters International. Congratulations again. I know it's sad to say goodbye. I have no doubt that you've got a great future ahead of you, and I'm sure that we'll see you back here again. Absolutely. Now, our judges 
have somehow made the most difficult decision of the evening, and it's time to announce the finishing order of the pageant. Wow. And we're going to crown our new Miss Hooters International. By the way, Rich, I'm glad that you changed back into your spiffy Yeah, yeah, so am I. So yeah. am I. And so is everyone else. All right. I, I might save it for the after party, though. Is that okay? A, okay? Yeah, that's a great idea. <laughs> Each of tonight's finalists will receive a cash prize based on where they finish. And, of course, our new Miss Hooters International will go home with the grand prize of $30,000. <sighs> you guys ready? This is it. May we have the envelope, please? Thank you. Again, Rich and I do not know the results, so we're as excited as you are right now. Rich, why don't you lead us off? All right. The fourth runner-up and the recipient of $5,000 is from Daytona Beach, Florida, Jorah Stewart. Our third runner-up will receive a cash prize of $6,500. And she is from Chantilly, Virginia, Rachel Swartz. Eight thousand dollars will go to this year's second runner-up who's from Riverside California Amanda Olson All right, guys, out of more than 18,000 Hooters girls in more than 425 restaurants around the world, we've narrowed down 80 contestants to the final two. The winner of Hooters 21st Annual International Swimsuit Pageant, $30,000, and the title of Miss Hooters International 2017 is... From Hollywood, California, Chelsea Morganson. Congratulations. Now that means our first runner up, who's going to receive $10,000, Amberly Hall of Fort Lauderdale, Florida. Congratulations, Chelsea, and now please enjoy your first walk as Miss Hooters International 2017. We had a fantastic time, and we hope you did as well. Congratulations once again to all of the girls who represented their hometown Hooters in this pageant, including all of our winners, Miss World, Hika Nakazawa, Miss Congeniality, Aki Lee, Miss Photogenic, Dominique Sum, and Miss Fan Favorite, Haley Slobotsian. And of course, your new Miss Hooters International 2017, Chelsea Morganson. Thanks again to our lovely judges and our lovely backstage correspondent, Sable Robert. I'm Rich Davis, thrilled to host this pageant with the beautiful Michelle Nunes. Thank you, Rich, and thanks to all of you. For everyone at Hooters International Swimsuit Pageant, good night. <laughs>